Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and I'm standing outside another one of our completed fix and flips. Um, this one just finished up a couple days ago. We'll walk through it, show you everything, numbers, and what we repaired. This was a fairly easy flip, so those are always nice to have. Um, we have 18 flips going right now. We have six listed, five under contract to sell, and we've got two more we're listing today, including this one. So. Should have a bunch of them selling here soon. I've got details on all of those on my website, investformore.com. Under my resources, you can see the fix and flip property scoreboard. We've got all the flips on there with before and after videos that we've done the last two years almost. So there's like 50 some flips on there, I think. <laughs> um, we bought this property for 201,000. It was from a wholesaler. And if you wanna see the before video, we'll have that in the description. Was not in horrible shape, very dirty. We had to come through, paint it. Um, did not do anything to the kitchen, new appliances, um, the floors we just cleaned up, put a new carpet in some spots, painted the outside of the house, and we ended up having to replace the furnace. Um, it was spouting out a bunch of carbon monoxide, so we had to replace that. And all in all, I think we spent 15,000 on this remodel. I was hoping to get it done for under 10, but the furnace pushed us over a little more than I hoped. Um, but it still should be a good property. We're gonna be listing it for 2749, and then there'll be oh fifteen thousand or so in carrying costs, selling costs, which include you know paying another real estate agent to commission to sell it, my loan costs. I am an agent, so um, don't have to pay anyone to list it. We can do that ourselves. So you can see the house, new paint. Um, did not do anything with the trim, just painted the walls, new carpet. The paint color looked really good with that oak trim, but it's kind of bright and not as amazing with the white trim in the bedrooms. But I think it still looks okay. We also replaced the doors throughout the house. Here's other bedroom upstairs. And it's funny, Nikki and I, who's my project manager, just walked through and we realized we forgot to replace the vinyl in this bathroom. We forgot to tell the flooring guy to do that. So um, we'll have our kind of handyman come do that today real fast and lay some vinyl down. But besides, oh, we need a shower head too. Just saw that. You always find new things. Um, but yeah, just real simple rehab, which is nice because it's so easy to spend a ton of money on these properties. We also replaced the light fixtures. And we're gonna have our guy come back and clean up the backyard as well. Cause they cleaned it up a little bit, but not quite as good as it needed. And it is winter in Colorado, even though it's about 55 degrees out right now. So we can't really put sod down or anything like that, it'll just die, but there's the back of the house, you can see. It was repainted as well. And the master bedroom is right over here. New carpet, new paint, new light fixture. Did not do hardly anything in this bathroom, except for paint, really. As I've said before, the costs when you're repairing a house can add up very quickly. So the more economical you can be, usually the better, as long as it still looks decent. <laughs> um, here's the basement where we did carpet, paint as well. Um, had that little bar area down here, and our contractor was supposed to just put it back, but he turned it around, and then it used to have like some panels right there that are gone now. So we told our handyman just to come over, trash that, get rid of that, and uh, we'll just leave it a nice open space. Here is fourth bedroom downstairs. See, it's got a new door too. It's a big hole in the drywall up there that we fixed and patched up. And then here is the third bathroom downstairs. 
which is not, you know, super fancy, but it works. All right, so that is pretty much the house. Like I said, we'll be listing it for two seventy four nine. dollars Very few houses for sale still in our area. Um, the number of active listings in Greeley, Colorado, where I'm at, is at 72 right now with a town with over 100,000 people. So that's why our prices keep going up. There's just no houses for sale. Um, they started building a little bit more, but still very little building going on. And that's just causing prices to keep going up. So this should be a good one. Should sell fast with the low inventory and can move on and uh, keep buying more properties. All right. Thanks for watching. Again, check out investformore.com for more information on everything we're doing. Uh, my podcast, all that. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And if you want to see some more before and after videos, check out my playlist on YouTube for the fix and flip before and after videos or subscribe to get new videos coming at you. All right. Thanks a lot.